I always hate saying goodbye to nice hotels in India because you never know what you're going to find at the next one. Now I feel that we've taken every form of transportation on this trip here in India. We've taken trains, we've taken planes, we've taken helicopters. Um, but the one thing that we haven't done is a good old Indian road trip. Um, and that's all about to change because somehow or other, I don't know how, I kind of, after a few sherbets, decided that it might be a good idea to book myself on an overnight long distance bus journey here in India. Um, and um, yeah, that's where we're off to, to go and to get on our bus across India. For the first stage of my mammoth Indian road trip adventure, I had to get across Delhi, which was far more exciting than I'd anticipated. We'd only travelled a few miles when my Uber got into an accident and somehow everyone just drove off. I made it here to downtown Delhi and oh my word, we got into a crash on the way to here in the Uber and everybody just kind of shrugged and drove off like really insane absolutely insane right i'm gonna go and try and find something to eat and then we're gonna go and find where we need to get this bus from all right we're in the wrong place we need to go to mori gate bus station not um Kashmir gate thank you how much 150 rupees good price 150 rupees yeah yeah okay All right, so it seems that um, I was in the wrong place. Um, so this is Kashmir Gate bus station. Um, it's not where we need to be. We need to be to, <laughs> we need to be in Mori Gate. Um, and this very kind gentleman who, to who totally isn't um, taking advantage of me is going to take me to um, the place I need to be down in Mori Gate. <laughs> That's going to cost me about one pound fifty to get there. That's all right. I'll, I'll pay that. If I survive, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Are we here? Yeah. Ah. Take 500. Yeah. <laughs> For being so kind. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye bye. Well, this has got to be the dodgiest looking bus station I think I've ever been to. Um, but anyway, here we are. Um, I wonder if that's my bus. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to go in and speak to him in a minute. Hello. Yeah. Uh, it's bus to Ahmedabad. I have tickets here. Yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. Ah, next door. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hello. Hello. What time? 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Okay, so come back here for five. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, so it seems I'm a bit too early. I thought it would take me longer than it did to find this bus. So um, I've got two hours until my bus goes. It's 42 degrees here in Delhi today. Sweltering hot, so I'm going to go and try and find somewhere to get a drink or something, but I don't know where I need to be. I don't know where to go or anything. So, um, so I'll have a look and see what I can find um, on the streets of Delhi. Let's have a look. What is your going, sir? Have uh, a drink. Hi, shop for drink. Uh, I, um, food. Ghanna market. Yes, food. is it this way? Yeah. Food. Ye upar sir. So no, up here. Ah, thank you. Ye upar. All right, thank you. Shamne upar hotel hai aap. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, well, that went nice and easy as well. I wanted to go and find a little shop to get a bottle of water and a bag of crisps. A e selfie, a selfie. A selfie? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. 100 rupees, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, dear me. Right, back at bus stop. 
so we have to say after my last little adventure on a bus it didn't go down too well when I took the Greyhound bus across America so I was a bit hesitant to sort of book a, a bus trip while I was in India uh, having seen the way that the roads are and everything but then I heard about these um, buses that they have and they have these buses that are not only a bus but they've got like beds on them and stuff as well it's like a sleeper um, on wheels effectively almost, almost like a mobile home I guess with a load of beds in it um, and I just thought what a cool idea so um, that's what we're going to do we're going to take a ride from here in Delhi down to Ahmedabad um, which is about well it's an overnight bus ride it, get, it leaves in about an hour's time in the afternoon here from Delhi and gets in at lunchtime tomorrow down into Ahmedabad um, which is quite a long way um, knowing the scales of India it's about halfway down India from here um, in Delhi so it's a long way down um, and this is the bus that's going to take us down and I have to say it doesn't quite reek of um, luxurious um, business class first class luxury like the pictures showed but um, I don't know it maybe we'll be surprised when we get on board um, but we've got to wait here um, now for a bit and then we can get on board our little bus ride down India to uh, or across India rather to Ahmedabad Right, so it seems that on any given day there are multiple buses to Ahmedabad from right outside this shop um, and the one that was there earlier, the white one has gone, he was the 4 o'clock bus, I'm on the 5 o'clock bus so um, we'll wait a little bit longer and um, hopefully it'll turn up, it's blooming hot though, 45 degrees today here in Delhi um, just insanely hot, um, trying to get through plenty of water but um, just want to get on some nice cold bus now, that'd be nice wouldn't it? Right, I think this is my bus that's turned up. The big blue one, let's have a look. All right, let's go on board this bus. This is me. Right, so this is me. This is my bed. My bed for the night um, here on the sleeper bus. Um, so I went for a double. Um, sorry. So I'm hoping I might get like a bit more room, so we'll see how it goes. This is pretty cool, isn't it? It's like beds upstairs and downstairs all the way down the length of the bus. It's proper cool. All right, so we've got problems now because my ticket says I'm in G and H and there was no G and H, it's all numbers, so now we're all confused, nobody knows what's going on, so... <laughs> Very confusing, yeah, like it said numbers and letters. <laughs> Alright then, now that mess has all been sorted out and I've made it all to my room, all to my bed rather, on this sleeper bus, this is cosy isn't it? Um, not too bad. This is me for the next sort of, oh, however long, 20 hours or so as we cruise down, uh, oh across India rather. And that's my view out of my window, that's not too bad is it? Um, a little basic, but um, it'll do. It's only for one night, it's also I keep telling myself. So, um, yeah, hopefully, we'll be on our way soon. Well, here we go then. Off we go on our giant Indian road trip. Meandering our way out of Delhi on our epic Indian road trip, and I might already be seeing a fatal flaw to this plan of having beds on buses. You see, on a, on a train it's quite nice because the rails are generally quite smooth, but on the roads, especially in, here in India, it's just the bus is constantly weaving and rocking. <laughs> this is horrendous. We're not even, the, not even left Delhi yet. Alright, 
shall we have a look around the life flat suite on board the Indian sleeper bus as we wake our way out of Delhi. Let's have a look around. Um, first things first, obviously we've got the bed. Um, and we've got a nice big double bed on this one. Um, but on the other side you can see it's singles down there. Um, so you've got doubles on one side, singles on the other. Um, so not too shabby. I bought two tickets so I can have a double because I am quite big. Um, and I didn't want to be squeezing um, into a little bed all night, although I'm probably not going to get much sleep. Anyway, the way this thing's rolling around. Um, and then we've got like, um, just, just, just like, on the Qatar Airways Q Suite and on the Singapore Airlines First Class Suite, we have a slidey closed door. So there we go. Kind of does that, but it's not too bad. Oh, there we go, we've got two curtains. Um, you can see through it, but it's not too bad. <laughs> and then we've got luggage storage here at the end where I'm putting my shoes. And then we've got more curtains on the other side. Look, look at that. The view. And the view out over Delhi, over there. Um, and then we've got a light up here. And we can have it on either white or blue for mood lighting. Very cool. Um, and then we've got a plug socket. Of course. To look for any of my plugs, um, but never mind. Um, yeah, yeah it, it's all right. It's it's a bed. It's not. It's not quite. It's not quite what they promised in the photo when they showed a lush bed being made up with a fancy duvet and pillows and everything. Um, it's not quite. It's not quite like that. Um, it's just. It's just a like a bench to lay on, effectively. Um, so um, I didn't bring any pillows because I am a muppet and I thought that judging by the picture of the pillows that I wouldn't need any and um, I kind of figure out now I do. Um, but never mind, never mind, it's all alright. I ain't going to get any sleep at all while we're rocking and rolling around on this bus anyway. So um, yeah, um, I, had, I had visions of it being like on a rock band's tour bus or something, you know, with the beds and everything and yeah, it don't seem to be quite like that <laughs> for now anyway. You know. And of course, as you're driving around, every single time somebody pulls out in front of the bus, he has to either swerve out of the way or slap on. So you get thrown around quite a lot as well. But never mind, it's only for another oh, 18 hours, maybe. <sighs> Let's see how we get on. Twenty. Yes. Thirty rupees. Twenty, so forty, yeah. Nine, fifteen. Fifteen. Forty. Ah, okay. Fifteen. Ten rupees sound. Yeah, pagro. Thank you. Fifty rupees is me. Hundred. Thank you. But yeah, we have the name. Pudina wala. Both many chips are. Twenty. 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 Pani chips. Gujarati chips, lo, bhaiya ji. Ha, iska naam hai Gujarati chips. Ye aate Gujarat se aate hai, bhai. Must be the snack trolley coming round then. Got myself some. Whatever these are, um, like a crisps. A bottle of water. Come to. Um, it was about yeah, yeah, fifty rupees. Yeah, it came to fifty rupees. But that's fifty pence. Two bags of crisps. And a bottle of water, which it man is it really. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I don't know where we are. We've stopped for a break, I think, somewhere, and then we'll be getting on the road again very soon. So, it's time for me to Netflix and chill now as we roll out of Delhi. And it's thanks to this week's video sponsor, Surfshark, that I can Netflix and chill wherever I am in the world. 
Oh, they're cool. It means I can sit here and watch Netflix on a bus in India, for example, and I can connect to Netflix just like I'm connecting at home. It thinks I'm in the UK because I'm using the Surfshark VPN to connect back to the UK, and it thinks that I'm in the UK, allowing me to watch all of my British TV programs. I can watch BBC iPlayer, I can watch Netflix like I'm at home, um, or anything else like that. It's just simply cool. Um, and when you're in the UK as well, it's, it's no different there. You can watch TV while you're in the UK from other parts of the world as well and connect as if you're somewhere else. For example, you might be wanting to watch IPL Indian Cricket from in the UK and you can do that with Surfshark. You just connect up to the Surfshark app and then it lets you connect securely from anywhere in the world. So you can just connect to their Mumbai server, for instance, and watch the cricket from in the UK. Pretty cool, isn't it? Um, even when you're on public Wi-Fi, it protects your internet as well. So when you're on public Wi-Fi anywhere in the world on any dodgy Wi-Fi connection, it doesn't matter. You put st stick your Surfshark on and you connect completely securely as well. Absolutely brilliant product. You can get your hands on Surfshark for yourself as well. You can get 83% off and three months extra for free by using my promo code Noel Phillips with the link on the screen now. How cool is that? Hello. Alright, so we stopped at the side of the road, um, bless you, um, some sort of shop or something, so we we'll stopped for a quick bathroom break I think, then we'll be back on board um, for the rest of the drive down. Fresh dinner down there. So I am assured that the bus is not going to go for a long while yet and we've got time to sit down and grab a burger for me tea because I haven't actually eaten today yet. Bearing in mind it's now quarter past nine at night and I've not eaten a bite to eat apart from the back of crisps all day. Thank you. Oh yeah, the bottle please. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's my drink. Um, so yeah, I'm assured that he's not going to go without me. So I am very nervously sitting down to have a quick burger and fries and hoping I can jump on the bus very quickly should it... Um, <laughs> start moving so fingers crossed it doesn't go without me but right peri peri chicken time oh. and i'm going to eat it really quick because i don't want to miss this bus so um yeah let's see mm. that's very good very nice right burger wolf down time to go back to the bus Oh, it's still there, thankfully. Oof. Oh, right. Let's go get back on board. The Barat Benz. It's not just a Mercedes Benz, it's a... Hey. Hey, am I right? How are you? <laughs> it's not just a Mercedes Benz, it's a Barat Benz bus, this. Only the best. Right, let's go get on board. swinging around and slapping on brakes on and things and uh, it, it's not a comfortable ride that's for sure the roads here um, they're not exactly American interstates that are nice and smooth in a straight line and um, that therefore means that you end up being thrown around quite a bit so I don't know how much sleep I'm actually gonna get on this bus ride tonight I mean I don't know I want to say to myself, could it be as bad as the Greyhound, but to be honest, at this moment in time, um, 
I don't know whether I'm going to get any sleep at all. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll let you know, I guess, in a bit. It's now like half one in the morning or so. So difficult to try and rest on this bus. Um, with it being thrown around and everything constantly. But also, we got we stopped into a little town and I got woken up because they, some guys tried to bloody just swept my curtain open and started shaking me to wake me up because they thought I was in the wrong um, room. And I was like, no, this is where they put me in, in Delhi. And they started shouting and then just walked off. I was like, great, thanks for that, mate. Um, but also, with no blankets or anything, it's just so freezing cold. This is not a good experience. <laughs> Alright, so it's six in the morning, and the last few hours we've been going through all these tiny little towns, um, which naturally don't have very good roads, so we've been being thrown around like all night. And now the sun's starting to come up, it's starting to get light. Um, Yes, zero sleep. Absolutely zero sleep. My ride so far, well, it hadn't been the most comfortable, I have to say. It was bumpy, uncomfortable, noisy, and um, I'd not got a wink of sleep. But as the sun started to rise, though, I started to forget about all that as we crossed the absolutely stunning Ara Valley Range into the state of Gujarat. So we made another stop at the side of the road here um, on the way down to Ahmedabad. Um, oh, it's nice to get a bit of fresh air off the bus actually. It's a bit warmer off here as well than it is on the bus. Um, ice cold on there with that air conditioning, but never mind. Um, let's go and have a look around what there is to do here. I suppose not a lot. That's oh, beautiful scenery there, look at that. Like mountains and things. It's like being in Scotland with sunshine and not rain. Right, nip and have a whittle I think. Right, so we've got about four and a half hours left to go on our mammoth bus trip across India. Um, and it's, yeah, it's been all right. I just wish I could have got some sleep. That's the only thing. Um, I don't know if anybody's managed to sleep on this thing. You might, can you sleep on a sleeper bus? I don't know, but never mind. Um, <laughs> Well, we're at the side of the road in the middle of nowhere in Gujarat um, and yeah, only another four, four and a bit hours to go. Come on, we've done this long, I think we can do the rest of it, can't we? Blimey. There's a doggy down there, look. Hello doggy. Hello doggy. Oh. Oh, a little stray doggy there. Why do all the horns all like play tunes by the way? It's like it's quite cool in the daytime, but at three o'clock in the morning when you're trying to sleep and it's right outside your window, it's a bit annoying, but never mind. <laughs> Poor doggy. Before too long we were getting back on the road for the last part of our road trip down to Ahmedabad. This part of the trip took us through quite a few large towns as we meandered our way across India. Mm, just past the Tropic of Cancer, the line like virtually, I mean there wasn't anything marked on the ground or anything but you know we just crossed it anyway, we're now officially in the tropics. And not too soon after that, with a delay of just over two hours, I finally got my first glimpse into the city of Ahmedabad. Yay. 
Um, hotel. Hotel. Thank you. No, thank you. Yeah, cheap hotel. No, I've got a hotel, thank you. All oh, right, survived. Woohoo! Right, just waiting for an Uber to turn up and then I can go to my hotel. Yes. Yeah, I am going, yes, in a minute. I'm waiting for my Uber. We'll be here in a minute. Uh, sounds horrible. I do not fancy a 20 minute ride across. Wherever we are, where are we? Bangalore? Bangalore in a, no, we're not in Bangalore, we're in Ahmedabad. I do not fancy a 20 minute ride across Ahmedabad in um, one of these things. Oh, I'm so tired, crikey. I can't remember what city I'm in. Auto, auto. No, no thank you. No, he's on his way, thank you. And Uber, yeah? Uber? Uber, yeah. Air condition, AC, yeah? Hotel, hotel. Yes, to the hotel, yes. Yes? Yes, he, he, he take me to hotel, yes. A GP. Uh, he'll be here for two minutes. You are hotel. Yes, I'm going to a hotel, yes. You? Yes. Marshall Hotel, the Grand Marshall. No, no. He's trying to get me to um, go with him to this hotel over the road. <laughs> I'm all right, thanks. <laughs> Ooh wee, it's flipping up down here, I tell you that. What we got at the minute? Let's have a look, what we got temperature wise? Uh, 37, ah. It's about 80 degrees cooler than it was in Delhi, but it still feels bloody hot. It's driven right past me, hang on. Nand apartment. Nand, Nand. Nand. Oh, yes. Oh, I was back there. Very <laughs> hot. Oh, very hot. Yes, long way up. I was back there. <laughs> you drove past me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. As always, a massive thank you to my patrons for helping to make these videos possible. You can join them at the link on the screen now for access to my WhatsApp group, the Zoom calls with me, and much, much more. Hello. Good afternoon, check in, please. Oh, well, here I am then, made it to my hotel at the beautiful High Regency Hotel here in Ahmedabad um, in India and look at this room I mean, after the bus for the last two days look at this room and the view out the window out over Ahmedabad and the river down there um, just such an amazing hotel room this is and I've got access to the club lounge up here I've got an amazing bathroom look at that shower <gasps> Amazing, lovely bathroom as well. Um, yeah, um, you know what, when I've done a trip like this, people often say to me, why do I stay in like really fancy hotels when I do these trips? And you know what, after I've been on a really grotty two day trip like that across India, um, and I just need somewhere nice to rest, well, <laughs> Somewhere like this is just incredible and it just makes you feel so much better at the end of it knowing you're coming to sleep in a nice bed like this. So yeah, that's why. Um, in terms of the trip, by the way, I had a really good time with that. Um, it was really cool seeing India at ground level, as it were, on the bus, as opposed to from 40,000 feet. Um, it, it was quite nice, um, although the experience itself wasn't the nicest. And consider that the price I paid for that bus trip was about 35 quid. 
Um, and for that, you can generally get a flight down from Delhi to Ahmedabad with Indigo or Go First Air um, or even Vistara um, for not much more than that. And you're here in one hour as opposed to 20. So I don't know, let me know what you'd do down in the comments. If it was you, would you rather take the bus and see it at ground level or would you rather just get on the plane and fly? Let me know. But anyway, I'm off to get a shower and get some sleep. So thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.